This is Boxing Tickets N9 in association with Vinny Gentleman, and we're here with, with the victorious Eric Donovan. Nice to be back, Eric. Yeah, nice to be back, Marty. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in the ring. Well, it's 10 months, so it's, it's, I know it's not years or anything, but still for uh, an aspiring boxer that you know wants to be uh, an aspiring champion that wants to be kind of back in European title contention. And, you know, it's been a long, long spell out the ring, 10 months, and we know why as well you know one my, my last fight I you know fell through a true injury and then the one before that was kind of a logistic issue logistics issue around medicals and that so these things you're out of your control so I'm just glad to get back in opponent wasn't the best but you still have to get rid of them you still have to do your job and I done that and I got a few rounds um, under my belt yeah and obviously it's, 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 I guess it's good to be back we're, we're obviously coming to the end of the pandemic obviously First, first show in Belfast. Obviously, your last fight in Belfast with crowd is also here in Belfast. Yeah. Again, with crowd, but I'm guessing it was good to hear fan noise back again. Ah, brilliant! Yeah, like I, it's something about it. Like it's very special, you know. A boxing venue, small hall, you know. And I know that this venue can normally do 600, 650, you know. But there was about 250 out there tonight, and um, there was a reason for that, you know, that that was the maximum capacity allowed for for this evening's event. But we're going in the right direction, and. Um, it's lovely to hear that, just to hear that roar again, you know, it just I feed off it, I really do, you know, and uh, there's something very special about it. And hopefully when I do, you know, get back to um, back into title contention that, you know, we'll be back to full houses again. And, and obviously um, kicking on now, was that two, two straight ones, obviously after your, your defeat in fight camp last year? Um, obviously off the end of the fight camp, Eddie obviously offered you another fight is it sort of still something you're looking towards and getting marked to push ah yeah definitely like I want big fights you know I, I like I want to you know when I finish up my career eventually like I want to be able to look back on it with pride and say like you know I've done this or I achieved this so um, no definitely interested in taking the big fights taking the risks you know there's no point doing this if you know if, if you're not because um, there's plenty of other opportunities and options for me in my life and I can go different directions right now you know I don't need to box but I want to box I'm hungry to box you know and I'm in it for not for money not for fame not for glory I want to be a champion I want to be a European champion and I know that I can get there and um, and that's not I'm not limiting myself to that either I'm open to other suggestions I'm open to opportunities like world ranking titles world title fights you just do not know what can happen in this game like Lee Wood was given out there a couple of months ago about not having a defence for his I think it was a British title or combat mm -hmm. title or something. And now he's world champion. You know, yep. like boxing, you know, anything can happen. The thing is, stay ready, stay in the gym, be hungry. And when the phone rings, just be ready to step in. And now more than ever, there's so many opportunities. Like Eddie, Le Eddie, even with Eddie leaving Sky, doesn't mean that he's closed the door. He's added another door, you mm -hmm. know, that zone. And now Sky have opened up another new platform. So these are, you know, there's loads of stages out there. You know, and if you keep working away, you'll get a call to, to get onto one of them, I think. And, sorry, do you want to add? Is there, is there any sort of clear platform? Like, any sort of clear platform? I know you can get a call any time, and as a name, and as you, kind of your record, you, you'll probably get decent calls, but is there any sort of plan you have, or, you know, well, just get this out of the way, and then what direction are we going? Well, I'm due to, <laughs> I should be over a year married now at this stage already, <laughs> but I still haven't got married to Laura, and... Uh, She's on her hen weekend, this weekend as well, like, you know, and um, she's gutted as well that she missed this fight, you know, but all of her friends have entertained her over this weekend and entertained her today and they've all tuned in for the fight and they're having a great time and, and uh, but we're due to get married in October and for the third time, you know, third mm -hmm. time lucky this time, hopefully we get it, you know, everything is, is, is going so good, like, so far so good and it looks like we will tie the knot in October and you know hopefully maybe might be able to have a nice week away somewhere or something afterwards and then once that's over myself and mark we're going to work towards you know getting back into that title contention mark told me to just go away get married enjoy yourself he has a plan you know mark dunlop mm -hmm. he's a great manager and he you know as he said to me look eric all my fighters i work with them to get to the title fights get them the shots and his record pro is proof of that it's testament to that so i trust in him and he, he trusts in me and I know that he's going to get me back into that title contention. Another great positive for me today was I'm working with Packy for the last few months, but we never got to, we tried twice to fight. It mm. never happened. So we got our first little kind of a maiden, maiden voyage mm. there together. And I liked the instruction. I liked the corner work. 
and I like I like the partnership. It's really nice, and uh, it was nice to be able to kind of transfer um, some of the the gym the gym work, uh, the floor work, and uh, the boxing work that I'm doing on the gym floor onto the main stage. Anything specific that you kind of worked yeah, on? Yeah, just or completely right? slowing down. Like I know I'm I Lily White Lightning by name, yeah. Lily White Lightning by nature, but like sometimes I'm too fast for my own good. I need to slow down. I have a lot more time than I actually think. Mm. And Packy is doing that with me. He's helping me to navigate through the, through the rounds, you know? And I need that, you know, because boxing at the highest level, you need a good co-pilot. And you need that, you need somebody to help you to navigate. Because when you're a fighter, you can't be in the ring and outside the ring at the same time. You're already dealing with the emotion, the, the intensity, the fight, you know, you're in that kind of a zone, you can't see, you haven't got that kind of panoramic view, you know, that your coach has. So, you know, when you're getting the right language, the right instruction, the right guidance, I think you can, you can, you know, I can really make a difference, you know, so, um, so far so good. And, and Fellowit still the plan. Obviously, you'd said, obviously, you wanted to, after fight camp, you wanted to come back down to Feather, obviously, you're through your weight. You look at the fellow with division now, you've obviously Lee Wood, regular belt, you've obviously I think potentially him and Michael Coleman's keyed in for December. Um, you probably might, might not know the Josh Warrington result, but it got stopped in the third round of a cut. Um, so it seems like the fellow with division. Oh, I didn't know. What happened? Uh, Laura had a bad cut in the third round, so I think they're going to have to go for a trilogy now. So, oh. so it seems like the fellow with division is getting re a rebirth. Yeah. yeah um, and yeah. obviously, someone with the experience that you have. Um, Obviously, it's like a daddy figure, sort of, the fellow weight division, sort yeah. of, you can tow them in line and yeah. plenty of opportunities. Uh, like, yeah, I think it's great. That's yeah, a fair assessment. Like, I think the featherweight and the super featherweight division are really hot right now, aren't they? Like, they're mm. really hot. And, you know, a lot of these guys have big profiles because they have big promoters behind them, you know, and, like, they're probably a bit ahead of me in the kind of profile stakes and stuff like that. But in terms of boxing ability, and, you know, there's not, they're not too far ahead of me at all, you know. I'd stand and hold my own with any of them. You know, you name them all out there, Reese Bellotti, uh, Lee Wood, Jordan Gill, um, Kid Galahad, Jazza Dickens, all them guys. And then, like, if any super featherweight fights came up, I can't afford to say, no, I won't take that. I'm 36 mm -hmm. years of age. There's not too many guys that want to give me too many, uh, not too many keen candidates either. But where I am and what I want, I have other plans in my life that I want to move on to. Like I said, I'm going to be getting married in October as well. And I want to, you know, I have two children that I want to kind of put my you know, time into them and time mm -hmm. into my wife-to-be and, and into other areas of my life. So I, I'm not 26, you know, where I can say, oh, well, I have time. I, I, I want to I, I I do something in the next 12 months. I really do want to do something in the next 12 months, and that's very, very important to me. And, and obviously, as I say, with 36 times not on your side, sort of, I know you, you've, uh, you have the nice guy image, is sort of maybe sometimes you might sort of have to go on the social media and sort of call someone out and get a bit of traction to get them to fight you? Yeah, look, I don't, look, uh, some, of that, some of that stuff, I just, uh, it's just not me. Like, I've named a good few names there yeah. today. And I've nothing against any of those guys. They're all great fighters and warriors, and I know how hard it is. Boxing, professional boxing is one of the hardest sports in the world. Not only from fighting inside the ropes, in terms of everything else that goes on, the preparation, the tickets, the profiling, the selling yourself, the getting people, getting sponsors, securing, t you know, working with coaches, work, it's a, it's a tough, tough gig. So all of those names that I mentioned, they're all there by their own merit and, and they're all deserved to be there. I'd love to fight them because they're the big names and I think they're the big fights. So that would bring, you know, give me an opportunity. But I don't know, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. For me, it's all about me just wanting, like, when I say to you, I haven't got, it doesn't get any easier and I haven't got all the time in the world, but everything that I do over from now over to the next 12 months is, is very important, you know, because I know I'm in the final chapters of my career without kind of bringing the curtain down. And I do know, like, like the way I'm talking tonight, you can probably see, realize that yourself. So I want to bow over it in a way that like, you know, that I can be very content with myself. Mm -hmm. The reason I came back into it was because I had a few regrets, you know, and and I don't want to go out of it with, with, the same, with the same you know, reason why I came back into it. So, look, I, honestly, I, I said this before as well. I don't think I have endless chances, but I definitely think there's another chance. Mm -hmm. I think there's another big one. Someone's going to give me a shot or, or, or Mark is going to get me a shot. 
and I, I know that and then I, it's up to me it's going to be my own hands then definitely the thing we say is a magic man he'll definitely make yeah. he can make obviously uh, yeah. wine out of water yeah. you know, yeah. he definitely gets opportunities well, so, it's obviously just getting yeah. naked deal on, on, on Sky Sports with Boxer as well and, mm-hmm. and Tommy and, and, and James are with, with his own you know the opportunities are there to sort of get you dealing get you a big platform now for the final stages yeah no I think it is you know I, I, the thing is about Mark as well what I like about Mark is he doesn't uh, he, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't he doesn't tell you kind of false promises or anything like that you know he just he reassured me that you know I, I'm going to be working my ass off to get you to title fights you know and I believe him when he says that and so far so so far so good since we've mm-hmm. been working together and I know he's in negotiations all the time he doesn't need to ring me as my manager and tell me I'm, I'm talking about this I'm talking about that but I know he's talking all the time about me with different fighters and I know that there is other people talking to him about me as well mm-hmm. so my name is out there what am I now 13 and 1 or 14, 14 and, one. and 1 so 14 and 1 you know I'm in negotiations with people you know because um, that's just the way it is so like it's only a matter of like them being able to kind of like find the, find the right opportunity for me and nail it down you know so I'm going to stay in the gym now anyway, I'm really enjoying it, I love, I live the life, you know, I live the life of a professional boxer, I enjoy it and I love developing, love working with Packy, love working with all the lads in Celtic Warriors, it's a great, great, great team, great team environment and um, yeah, I'm really, really hopeful for the future. And just one final one, obviously I think Johnny and Irish boxing here broke it during the week, obviously you, you've helped uh, Masley with Jesus um, in the gym, obviously I don't think he sort of wanted it to go public but it sort of did that. Yeah. Obviously, he helped him a lot in preparing for his debut. Ah, yeah. Look, like Jesus helped me a lot too. You know, mm-hmm. being a sparring partner, you know, he's always there. He's reliable. He's available, and you know, it's hard to get that. You know, and what I love about Jesus as well is every spar he wants to win. He wants to win every spar. So, like, that's the kind of sparring partners you want to be in with. Not someone that's just bringing you through the motions, mm-hmm. you know. And he's a young kid that took a punt on himself and moved away from Venezuela for a better life. And he's only twenty-four years of age, you know, and. I thought he was harsh done by tonight. I thought he really deserved to win that fight. Um, but I said to him, you know, look, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, you know. And he said, oh, I never heard that before. <laughs> and he liked that, you know. And I said, yes, yeah, so just remember, you know, it's not, a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And you'll get there, you know. And he, you know, great guy, great guy. And, I, and I'm just very lucky that I was be able to help him out a small bit. It's only a small bit, but, you know, like, you can't, like, um, you know, Give, give, give people give, give people a hand or a dig out then what, what can you do with it? Exactly. Get anything more Johnny? No, no, no. Get on it. Well, well Eric Lipson, obviously thanks very much for your time obviously all the best for the wedding yeah. in October I'm, I'm sure you're obviously probably more nervous for the wedding than you are for, for <laughs> making your ring walk tonight I am, yeah but I'm really excited about it as well I'm ready to get married you know I'm ready to be to make Laura my, my wife and, and to be her husband and you know I'm really looking forward to uh, to our future together and what may come as well with that well, Thanks very much for your time you. and we'll hope to catch up again soon Thank you Cheers, take care Thank you.